Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I hope everyone's doing alright. In this video, I made it just so I could show you guys how to use this template. Um, I made this template for all of you guys to use for free. It's a retro 80s style template. I really felt like it's something I'm proud of. And so you guys can use it for free. You can change the name and the colors, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. But there's a few steps um, to do that, especially if you don't know Photoshop that well. So the first thing that might happen is that you're not going to be able to use the font because this is the font I downloaded online, which is completely fine. So what's going to happen is that you're going to go to the folder that had all of them, all the stuff that you needed. And it's going to be this right here. And then you're going to notice a font call or a folder called fonts so you're going to double click that and then you're going to start installing these fonts so all you have to do is just double click and click install it'll tell me I already have it so I'm just going to click no but then that's basically it you'll just make sure that installs and then once that's in if you need to you'll just close and reopen the um, Photoshop file and you'll have all the fonts that you need so the first thing you're going to do once you've done that is you're going to hide this layer as it says hide me and um you're gonna have we're just gonna go down the layers so first one is just called bars you're just gonna this will just be a black bar on top and bottom to help you see what you're gonna see on the desktop when you upload this then I also got sizing which is similar but it helps see what's safe um, in the text and logo area as this is the minimum desktop desktop size you see this first rectangle here so if your name is longer you might want to try and shorten it to make sure that it fits in everyone's screens next as you go down one layer you have the coloring layers so this one's pretty important because it'll allow you to change the color of the whole template to what you like so you're gonna open the properties um, properties box if you can't see it just click window and then go down until you click see properties and just click on that and so then once you've got that open you can shift this hue slider here to have it be the color that you like so let's say like this right here a bit of green and orange um, but this seems a bit saturated you can just shift this down until it seems about right so I'm just gonna shift that back but you can just change this to what you like then one layer down you can go to the adjustments tab I want to change here just color changes color corrections that I have and then one more down is the textures this will remove most of the textures well all of them really It'll just help things look more clean but you lose some of that aesthetic I suppose <laughs> so keep that on if you'd like and then go one down and this is the name and clouds group this one's pretty important because you'll have a ton of useless layers that just the clouds layers and some lights that to put in there but then you also have one called your name and then so you can select this what you'll have to do is you'll have to go into your tools panel at the left or you can if you can't see it open tools at the bottom over here and then you'll select the little T or the capital T and then you'll be able to click and drag over this and you'll be able to put whatever you'd like so if I put apple pie GFX there we go or test name and it'll keep it all in the same style and you'll have what you want and that's pretty much it you can so let's say I want it to be mine and I want to switch colors I'll go to properties have it be a bit more purple or the saturation and maybe I don't want all these textures on top and ta-da you've got yourself a brand new banner and then just to save it you'll click file save as then make sure that you save the file type as a PNG and then you can save it to wherever you want wherever you need to you'll have a brand new banner there you go Hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed the, using the template. I'll be posting more. I'll try to post more because I know that people use these often. <laughs> I used to use these before I made my own. So yeah, uh, see you guys in the next video.